why don't children work anymore? Did I hear that right? Why don't children work anymore? Now, I know you're interested in thinking of Candace because, I don't know, it's a form of slavery to have children work. Children should just be able to enjoy their childhood. But there is something about working that establishes a better human being. We are not creating better human beings anymore or quality human beings anymore. Do you know what I mean? Like, it just seems that everyone is so entitled to everything. Do we need to get kids back to work? What year is it exactly? This is such a ludicrous premise, but it's not surprising because the person saying it is Candace Owens, who... That's really her brand. This is the person who said Hitler would have been fine if he didn't expand outside of Germany. But if Hitler just wanted to make Germany great and have things run well, okay, fine. The problem is, is that he wanted, he had dreams outside of Germany. Jesus Christ, what the f are you saying? And the list of her ludicrous comments goes on and on, but this specifically is alarming. The reason kids aren't working is because we have laws to prevent that because kids were working in the early 20th century and before that, and it wasn't good. We don't need kids working. Kids should be free to be kids. And I'm saying this as somebody who had a job at 12. I was a paper boy. That was my first job. And then I started washing dishes at 14 and have been working ever since. And look. Part of me looks back on that past and says, okay, yeah, I think that did instill some good work ethic, but also that's a lot of time I would have loved to have had to just be a kid, but I did so out of necessity. Her argument here is that kids not working leads to a sense of entitlement, and that just isn't true. That's a myth that a lot of boomers push, and that's ultimately who she's trying to appeal to because people like her ultimately pander to boomers to bring in boomer donations. And of course, boomers are not a monolith. There's a ton of great progressive boomers, and I would assume many people watching this are among them. And you people can obviously see through that bullshit. And you also understand that people not working at 12, 10, 8 doesn't lead to a sense of entitlement. What often leads to a sense of entitlement is having wealthy parents. I shared with you many episodes ago the story about the assistant that I had. 22 years old is how old he was asking to make $135,000 a year after a month of work. Why? Because he's entitled. Because he doesn't even actually know what real work is. You have children uh, that grow up to become the adults like they're facing right now at Goldman Sachs that say, we're being abused. Yes, we make, I don't know, almost $100,000 a year, and we are, but we're working long hours, and we shouldn't have to work long hours. The people she's referring to expecting higher salaries. Those are people who more than likely got to where they are in life, either got their job or got into a good school or got their position in life because of their parents or because they grew up in wealth. That affords a ton of opportunities otherwise unavailable to people from working class families. The entitlement you see in young people, the entitlement you complain about, are more likely on your side of the political aisle. Those are people who grew up in wealth, who had everything handed to them, and think that people are lazy if they're working class. And that's just not true. Blue collar folks and working class Americans are the backbone of this country, and they work harder and longer than these brats ever could. But to bring it back to the necessity point, there are instances of kids working, and it's not good. Here's just one example. This is framed as a positive, uplifting piece. Someone selling lemonade to pay for brain surgeries. That should not exist. We have a healthcare system that is so predatory and broken that children need to sell lemonade to help people afford surgeries. That is so unbelievably grotesque. But ultimately, that's the healthcare system that Candace Owens and people in her circle fight to protect. Or how about this one? A group of kids build a wheelchair for a two-year-old because their family couldn't afford one? To what rational person is that a good story? Without that wheelchair, what is that person supposed to do? What is that kid supposed to do for mobility? So these inspiring stories of kids working really just reflect the cracks in our system. None of this was ever about entitlement. It's about people's necessity and their material needs. And I can't believe we're even having this conversation, but children should not be required to work.